Hey, what's going on guys? Tonight's video, I'm gonna be discussing how to connect your brand new Netgear or used in this case as well. So it can either be new or pre-owned. I purchased mine and I got a good deal on it. It's brand new, never used, but again, it's an open boxed item. And so what I have here, again, this model number is the Netgear N450. And I wanna discuss a few things about how to set it up and what to do before you set it up. Now, again, if you guys are watching this, you're either have already purchased it or you're thinking about purchasing it. And so the reason why I purchased this particular one is I was on the phone with a customer service agent from Time Warner Cable and he actually Actually recommended buying the two-in-one system, the modem router. This again will eliminate two different devices and allows me to just have one. Right now I have an older modem and an older router. Now my router is a D-Link and my modem is some like the Eris or something like that. My modem is very old and I was experiencing dropping. I was experiencing very slow speeds and what he told me is he's like well it's pretty old and it's probably on its way downhill and it's gonna die pretty soon. And so he recommended, you know what, why don't you look into a DOC SIS 3.0 cable modem router. And so I did, I looked into this one, this one had great reviews, so I decided to pick this up. Also, I'm paying for good speeds but not like the tippity top, top, top. So again, this is up to 340 Mbps but again, I think I'm paying a maximum, I think of like 50, but anyway, I decided on this one after reading the reviews. Now I quickly want to address a couple different things that other people, reviewers that I read experienced. Hopefully this will help you before we start setting it up. Number one, the customer service agent from Time Warner Cable told me what I need to do is after I set it up, I need to call him or call Time Warner Cable or your cable service provider that you know you have that this is gonna be working with and you need to tell them you've purchased this and that you need to connect this to your account. And what they'll do is the other reviewer stated that they're gonna need the CM Mac number which is located on the back of the Netgear router. There's a sticker, I don't wanna show it on camera because I don't want all that information getting on camera. But again, there's a sticker that tells you the model number, et cetera, and that will be by the serial number, et cetera, all on the back of the Netgear cable modem router. You might need the serial number as well, so have those numbers ready. You might just take a cell phone picture of it and then connect it. That way, if he tells you or she tells you, hey, do you have these numbers? You can just look at the photograph on your phone, give it to them, and then you can delete the photo if you're worried about it getting out in the public. And then another thing that I want to address is another reviewer stated that they had a hard time setting up the cable modem router because they gave the wrong model number. Again, this right here says N450, and that's actually the real model number, but on the device here, it says CG 3000 DV2. So you might need to give them that model number. Again, it's right here on the cable modem router, CG 3000 DV2. You might need to give them that one instead for them to look it up in their system to plug you into the right one. And so also the Time Warner Cable representative said that after you give him the proper information, he'll compute it in the system, boom. Then the company is gonna start shooting you the proper speeds that your hardware can handle. And so you won't experience the speeds you, you paid for with this new hardware until you call them and until their end of the system realizes that you have the hardware. So you can't just plug it in, jump online, and experience crazy good speeds. You have to let them know what new hardware you've purchased first. So hopefully that has shined some light on what to do before we do call them and before we set it up. And if you are thinking about purchasing this, you do get a couple manuals inside the box and you do get an ethernet cable here, a yellow one, and you do get about a six foot power cord. Again, about a six foot power cord right there. I did make a full unboxing and review video on this router as well. And I run through all the specifications. I don't wanna make this video too long but you can watch that other video. I'll link that in the description box below so that you can watch that and hear all the technical specifications. And also I'll link this exact product in the description box so that you can get your hands on it, read more about it, read the other reviews, even see my review on Amazon as well. All right guys, so what I'm gonna do now off camera is I'm gonna take a photo of my little sticker on the back here so I have all my information. And then let's go back to my office and we're gonna go ahead and set this up and get this running. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do here is on the back of your cable modem router, you're gonna 
see the little port again for your cable. Now this is just like your cable box. This little guy right here with this little pokey thing right in the middle, that is gonna again unhook it from your old one and you're gonna go ahead and twist that on right to that port there. And this again is why you wanna take a picture of all those numbers on the back because once this stuff, especially mine, is jammed over here in the corner of my office and once all these things are connected, it's very hard to sometimes reach back in there and read the back of your cable modem router. So screw that little nut on nice and tight right there and then we're gonna go ahead and put in the power cord here so again put that make sure that that is in your wall and then we're gonna go ahead and plug it on in right there now let's go ahead and look at the front of it here and as we power it up there here's and as we power it up here we see all our lights here again they are blinking all right now guys this is an optional feature here but I do have a black Ethernet cable here that I have running from the back of my computer and if you want to use this again this is sitting next to my desktop top computer which is right here and again I have the cable running from the back of the computer now I chose to have direct internet access from a cable from the cable modem router to my desktop now as we can see the lights are a little bit different color here after about 30 seconds and so I'm gonna be plugging in my desktop computer to port LAN port number one right here. Again, this is connected from the back of my desktop computer to my cable modem router for direct internet access without wireless capability, desktop to cable modem router, but every other device, my iPhone, laptop, is gonna be running off of the Wi-Fi signal. Okay, now is the important part. We need to call a Time Warner cable and we need to give them the information so we can get the proper speeds that we're paying for. Alrighty guys, there's the number I'm gonna be calling right there, 1-888-892-2253. Alright guys, right now I have the phone on mute right now. We're about seven minutes, 48 seconds into the phone call, and again I have it on mute so he can't hear me, but he is actually sending signals to the cable motor router to give it tests of what it needs to do. And again, all I had to give him was the model number and the CMAC number, which is on the back, which I described earlier in the video. And that's the only two... Okay, there, uh, sir, hello? Uh, yes, hello, I'm here. All right, guys, now using your Wi-Fi for the first time here, this is what my Wi-Fi came up as. I think it's the long model number there, CG3000DV2F1. Yours might be a little different on the last portion, or it might be the same. Anyway, you hit that, and then on the back of your cable modem router, then for your password, it's on the back of your cable modem router, that little sticker part again, which I didn't show you on camera because it's sensitive information for you. Look on this side, it's on the right side if you're looking at it here. Down at the bottom, you're gonna see Wi-Fi password, and mine was pretty long. Make sure that you input it. If it's capital letters, you input it capital letters, numbers, etc. Make sure that you properly do capital letters or lowercase letters for the password. And then if you guys want to change after that on that same sticker is the information for Netgear I'll make a separate video of that to change the name of your Netgear router to whatever you want to call it and then to input your own password All right guys real quickly. I ran a speed test just now just got off the phone I was actually running the speed test with him on the phone The total conversation start to finish was about 14 minutes and I was asking him a lot of questions as well So that's why it went a little bit longer You could probably get through the conversation a lot quicker and so I immediately experienced this right here download speed this was only 20 maximum again same price I was paying for I just upgraded my hardware and I'm getting 20 to now 58.33 again Time Warner Cable juices their lines quicker than what you're supposed to get for the extreme service that I'm paying for and so look at that guys I already went up 38.33 from my last download speeds which was only maximum about 20 check a look at my upload speeds again guys with my old hardware that that was from 0708, at least the modem was, I was experiencing maximum two upload, about 197 I was averaging. Now, look at that, 5.93, bam, baby. This was a great investment to pay a little bit of cash for my new Netgear cable modem router. Now he did tell me though guys, again I'm connected directly into my desktop computer to my cable modem router. He did tell me that if you want to start going Wi-Fi with your new cable modem router, you will need to change your security settings, etc. for Wi-Fi. You might have to call Netgear technical support for that information. If I run into some problems, I'll let you know at the summary of the video. But that is the basics, how to set it up. I'll try to link that other video about how to change your name of your router and also change your password in another video. But you gotta go into the back system for Netgear and do that. So I hope the video has helped you guys being able to set up your 
your cable modem router. And thank you so much for watching. If you did appreciate the video, I would definitely appreciate a thumbs up, a like. And if you have any comments, go ahead and post them in the comment section below, guys. And again, look in the description box of the video where you'll find the link for this exact same router. And you can read more reviews about it or pick one up yourself. And consider subscribing, guys. It is free. You guys have a wonderful night. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.